Hello everyone, welcome to PCS Global. SQL or Structured Query Language is one of the most well-known and longest running database language. With the help of SQL queries, you can perform some tasks such as create a database and manage them. You can also update or retrieving those data from a database. Knowledge of SQL is a must-have skill and in this video, we will cover top 10 conceptual SQL questions which are asked in interviews. This is a part of our ongoing interview series where we will cover this type of videos. So stay tuned for that. We have already covered some videos on Manstack, Spring Boot and Oops concept. So on this note, let's start. Our first question is difference between DBMS versus RDBMS. DBMS stands for Database Management System. It is a software that is used to define, create, and maintain a database and provides control access to the data. Now the question arises, how can we manage a database? Yes, we can manage a database in different, different form, just like in a form of document, in a form of graph, in a form of key value pair, also in relational and tabular form. Now come to the RDBMS part. RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. It is used to store or manage only the data that are in the form of tables. So this is the main difference between DBMS and RDBMS. MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server and Oracle are the most useful RDBMS software. Now move to the next question. What is primary key? Primary key is a column in a table that uniquely identifies rows of data in that table. Some properties of primary keys are a primary key cannot have null values. There can be no duplicate values for a primary key. And a table can contain only one primary key constant. Now the next question is what is unique key? A unique key is a set of one or more than one fields or columns of a table that uniquely identify a record in a database table. You can say that it is a like, little like primary key, but it can accept only one null value and it cannot have duplicate values. Next is what is foreign key. A foreign key is a column in one table that refers to the primary key in another table. A table with the foreign key called child table and the table with primary key called parent table. And foreign key maintains the referential integrity in database. Now question arises, what is referential integrity? It means when some data is deleted from the table contain the primary key, it automatically deletes the data from the table which contain the foreign key. Now move to the next question. Explain different type of SQL command. There are lots of commands in SQL. Those are DDL, DQL, DML, DCL and TCL. DDL stands for Data Definition Language. It is used to define the database or create or modify the database structure. Create, drop, alter, truncate, are thus DDL command. DQL, DQL stands for data query language. It is used for the query within the data. Select is the one DQL command. DML, it is stand for data manipulation language, which is used to manipulate the data in the database. Insert, update, delete are those DML commands. In DCL, DCL stands for data control language. In DCL include grant and revoke to maintain the grant permission and other controls in SQL. And last is TCL or 
transaction control language, which is use the control of every transaction in SQL. Commit and rollback at the TCL command in SQL. Now move to the next question. Differentiate, delete, drop, and truncate. These three command are used to delete operation in SQL. So for delete, it is remove the row from a table. It will be one by one or one at a time. By truncate, it will remove all row from a table one at a time. But by, by the using of drop command, you can remove the whole table from a database. So from by delete and truncate, you can delete the data or the rows from the table, not the database or not the table. But using drop column, you can remove the whole table from the database. And the next point is delete is a DML command and truncate and drop both are DDL command. And the last point is data can be rolled back after the delete operation. It's mean you can retrieve that those data which is deleted. But by the using of truncate and drop, the data cannot be rolled back because the data will be permanently deleted. And the next question is differentiate group by and order by clause. Group by clause is applicable when you want to use aggregate function to more than one set of rows. Just like if you want to face the query in the employee table, the maximum salary or minimum salary or average salary, then you have to use the group by clause. Now come to the order by clause. Order by clause is applicable when we want to get the data obtained by a query in the sorting order. Just like if you want to sort the data in a column, then you have to use the order by clause. The next question is difference between the next nested subquery versus correlated subquery. In nested subquery, the inner query runs first and only once the it will occurs. And then the outer query is executed with the result from the inner query. Here we see the bottom up approach. The syntax is like that select star from table where salary is equal to first bracket start. Select max salary from table and the bracket close colon. Now come to the correlated subquery. In correlated subquery, the outer query execute first, and for every outer query row, inner query is executed. Here we see the top-down approach, and the syntax is like that: select start from m plus for exit, then bracket start, select emp underscore id from project. For employee.emp underscore id is equal to project.emp underscore id and back it close simple. Now going for the next question. Explain join in SQL. This is the most asked question in interviews. Okay, so a join is used to combine rows from one or more than one table based on the same color from both tables. This is like we have to join two table or merge two table based on the same column. Okay, there are four type of join, inner join, left join, right join, and full join. So inner join is same like a self simple join. In inner join, it returns the join table with the based on the matching rows. Now come to the left join. In left join, it returns the row which is it is written the matching rows which is in the left table but not in the right table. Right join. It is the reverse of the left join. Here it returns the matching rows which are in the right table not in the left table. And full join is the combination of the left join and right join. It returns the both records of the left join and right join. And those are the centers of the all four joins. Now move to the next question. Explain ACID properties. So what is ACID stand for? So in ACID, A stand for atomicity, C stand for consistency, I stands for isolation, and D stand for durability. 
in atomicity either all the changes are perform or none of them it means all the transition will be perform or nothing will be perform next is consistency data is in a consistent state when a transition start and when it ends it means from the starting to end the values should be same for every time next is isolation the transaction run concurrently appear to be serialized this means one transaction cannot interfere with the other transaction the last is durability after a transaction successfully complete changes to data persist are not undone even in the event of the system failure it means once a data stored in a database it is permanently saved in the database even after the system failure it, it cannot be removed or changed so this is all about the questions i think when you will appear in the interview this question will help you and thank you everyone for this thing goodbye